Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you already know that I do not like to film story times unless something crazy has happened to me. And this story is definitely <laughs> one of the top 10 crazies. And in fact, when it happened to me, I was automatically like, this is worth a story time because no one is going to believe me. That's how crazy it is. So let me take you back like I always do, give you some little history on my feelings and views on trampolines. And then what happened to our trampoline? So for starters, I am an overprotective mom. That's just me. I claim it. I know it. That's who I am. I am always thinking about things that could happen before they do happen. So when my husband did mention trampolines to me about purchasing them, I automatically was like, no, we can get a playground. We can get a pool. <laughs> and even with pools, I'm worried. But I just did not want a trampoline. First of all, I know our neighborhood has like a lot of kids. So when you see a trampoline, it's kind of like blinking lights. Hey, come over here and play with us. <laughs> so I know with kids coming over to play with trampolines, that could be a liability. And I was just not feeling trampolines. And then on top of it, um, you could just get hurt off of a trampoline. I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old and common sense is not their first thing. <laughs> and I am not, I'm prone to getting hurt. So I know if I'm prone to getting hurt, my kids have inherited that. So that's automatically what I was thinking. I did not want a trampoline. I was completely against trampolines. Get a playground, get a ball, let them get a football. <laughs> but trampolines, no. So I was automatically against that. I kept saying no to my husband every time he would mention it. And we kind of left it at that, but he had a way of getting around it. So around Christmas time, um, his parents had asked, what did our kids want for Christmas? And my husband automatically was like, oh, you know, they want a trampoline. And of course my kids didn't really think of a trampoline, but when you mention a trampoline to any kid, of course they're gonna be like, yeah, of course we want it. So <laughs> that's how the trampoline came to our house. And I was automatically thinking to myself, okay, it came in this huge box. First, this trampoline was in the huge box, and then the net was in like a second huge box. So I'm thinking to myself, if I don't mention it, it can stay in our garage forever, and my husband won't put it together, you know, the kids won't get hurt. It, that's just where it will be. But <laughs> um, I want to say, when was it? Father's Day, June, yeah, it was around Father's Day. My husband was just, he woke up and just had this brilliant idea, like, let's put together the trampoline. <laughs> and I was like, Ah, there wasn't any way around it like it was hot outside it was perfect weather to put together an all-day event of putting together a trampoline so at first I tried to get out of it I was like it's gonna be too much to put together if you want to do that that's fine but for some reason I ended up outside <laughs> putting together this huge ass trampoline we spent about five hours putting that thing together and after we were done uh, we realized we didn't have any stakes <laughs> and we didn't have anything to hold this bad boy down. So we ended up going to Lowe's and we ended up looking online and we ended up getting like weight stakes, all this stuff to hold it down because of course, Paranoid Kim, I already looked up things on trampolines when it comes to like news events and I remember seeing this one thing where two boys were playing on a trampoline and it was windy and it went 50 miles, or not 50 miles, it went 50 feet in the air, and the boys were in it, and they both had critical condition, or something like that happened. I just remember that story, and so that is my horror story in my head about trampolines, and I just knew this bad boy had to keep its feet on the ground. So because it took a few days to get all of the equipment to weigh it down, I, Lucky Kim, because it was the summer, and my husband was working during the week, I put the stakes down, I put the weights down, I put the sandbags down. And I'm already, I don't have any upper body, body strength at all. None. Like none. <laughs> so I knew when I put it down, it was the best that I could do, but it could have been better, if that makes any sense. And I, I did the best that I could do. <laughs> and so I remember um, every time it would be Wendy, I would not let my kids on it. I remember every time it would be windy, I'd call my sister and be like, look at this trampoline, it is blowing in the wind. And um, I just did not like the look of it, of how it was blowing in the wind, but it was it was down, it was anchored, it wasn't going anywhere. And my sister was always like, you know, you're so paranoid, it's fine, because she checked the stakes afterwards too. And she was like, it looks fine, Kim, you're good, you know. So everyone was just thinking I was paranoid and that's just how it was and it went almost an entire year this way so come Friday uh, 
It was really rainy when we woke up and I just remember getting a wind advisory the day before when I was getting into my Jeep and I was just like, okay, well, you know, it's wind. I didn't think it would be that crazy. So I'm at work and I'm walking around and I dropped my kids off at specials and I remember I stopped to talk to the janitors and they were like, wow, you know, it's a good thing you went to Dunkin' because I had my coffee. They're like, it's a good thing you went to Dunkin' because look out there, it's horrible. And I look outside and the trees were like blowing. It was pitch black out there. Like it looked crazy. And I remember also hearing from like some other teachers that about 40 minutes away from us, there was a tornado warning because that's how bad the weather was in our area. And it's February, so you're not really thinking, especially in Delaware, that it's going to be like that. Now, you might think a snowstorm, even cold weather, but nothing like or a tornado and wind. Like, that's just not Delaware in February. I went back to my room, picked up my kids, went back to my room, was working on ELA, and I remember I always keep Kids Bop going on on Fridays for the kids just to get them, you know, having a fun time on Fridays. I always want them to have fun Fridays. So we're listening to Kids Bop. The principal comes in to do like an unannounced observation. <laughs> and when she went to come in, I had turned off Kids Bop. So I turned it off and I also flicked my phone to silent so that you couldn't hear anything. And so after I turned my phone to silent, you know, I went back to teaching, things like that. And 20 minutes later, after she had left, I looked down at my phone and I saw that it was um, like two notifications from our ring doorbell. So one was that someone was at the front door and another was that someone rang the front door. So usually that doesn't happen during the week, you know, at all. Like no one's coming to visit us <laughs> when we're at work. And so I looked at the ring and there was this older guy and I'm like, hmm, he looks like, you know, he's from around here because all of the cars that were on the street are cars that I know. It was like my neighbor's cars. And when he went to leave, I couldn't see where he went to go, but when he was leaving, he was like walking towards another house. So I'm like, that's weird. I, and automatically in my head, I was like, I wonder where he's going. So in my head, I was thinking, let me check the backyard just to see if he was there. I go to click on the ring and I look in my backyard and literally I was just like, <laughs> because our ring shows our entire backyard and I probably have like an old ring so you guys can see what it usually looks like <laughs> because the trampoline's right there in the middle of the ring in the backyard. Well, not anymore. The trampoline was gone. Like it was gone. It was like, it was like any, everything in our backyard looked normal, but the trampoline was not there. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh. And so I'm zooming in, trying to figure out like where the hell did this trampoline go? Because it looked like it literally just walked out the yard because everything looked normal. So I'm looking really close and I see on our fence, one of the fences, uh, it's normally straight, you know, like a fence, but one of them was like curved into the side. I'm like, that's weird. So in my head, I'm thinking, obviously something happened with the wind and it went that way. <laughs> And so that was to the left of our backyard. To the right of our backyard is our neighbor's backyard. And I'm really close with our neighbor. In fact, she works at the school. So during my lunch break, I ran over there and I was like, D, <laughs> you have to look at this backyard. I said, our trampoline is gone. And she at first was like, what do you mean? Like the grill, it didn't leave? And I'm like, no, not the grill. The trampoline is gone. Like it's not there. I don't know where it is. And she's like, are you? serious and so we even looked in her backyard and it was so windy that she has a gazebo and it went into her back patio door and broke the screen so already we see all that mess going on in her backyard and in my backyard we're like trying to figure out where this trampoline went because all in our view we could not see anything and I was like you know obviously it didn't go your way because I don't see it it went the opposite way and so I was worried because behind our house is a really busy road and this road leads into the highway. So I was thinking to myself, this trampoline is in the middle of this road. You know, it, I was hoping it didn't hit a car or anything crazy like that. So in my head, I'm just worried like, where the hell is this trampoline? <laughs> you know? 
So I, I went to my parents and I'm like, listen, I'm going to have to leave early. I'm going to have to get a substitute. I have to go look for my trampoline. I don't know where it is. It could be, you know, something is, it's obviously gone and I got to find it. And so she, she was understanding. I put in for a sub. And so I'm waiting till two o'clock because that's when my husband got off too, because obviously even if I find this trampoline, I'm not going to be able to carry it back by myself. <laughs> so I waited, I was waiting till two and I'm teaching and it got to be like around 1.45 and I get a knock on my classroom door and Dee walks in and she's like, Kim, I found your trampoline. And I was like, oh, because I could just tell from her face is not good wherever it is is not good so she showed me on her phone and i'll show you guys the picture of the trampoline so basically our trampoline it took the stakes it took everything but the sandbags the sandbags are still around there it took the stakes with it and it flew there are um four houses it flew there's our house two houses and then a fourth house it flew from our house all the way to the fourth house and landed on their fence now the day before forgot to mention this on Thursday it was super rainy so we got like two inches almost of rain that's how bad it poured so the ground was extremely soft and so um because it was so soft when it landed on the fence it just caved the fence in like that it just whoop you know, brought the fence down. <laughs> it took the fence with it. And on top of it, trampoline was heavy as hell. So I, I'm not surprised. So I, <laughs> so I automatically was extremely worried because I'm like, crap. Now we got to talk to the homeowners because it's a big ass trampoline in their backyard and they're probably not expecting that. Shoot, I wasn't expecting it, you know. So I'm new still to the neighborhood and I asked Dee, I said, do you know them? You know, are they nice? And she's like, you know, I really don't know them. Haven't, I don't really, you know, know the people on that side. And so she was like, hopefully they are, hopefully they understand. Because when I was leaving, I did hear that on our road, there was some type of like huge wind something. People, I think it was like underneath the category one, but basically it was kind of like a mini tornado that went down that road. And so, and that's why it messed up Dee's backyard as well as mine. So at two o'clock, I got off and I had called my husband just to let him know we found the trampoline and I think he was as scared as I was because he was like oh are you gonna go over there and talk to them and I'm like I'm not going over there and talking to them without you <laughs> that's out so um he was like oh well, I'm working until seven I said okay well we'll be waiting for you at seven to go talk to them because we won't be home until then because there's no way I'm going on that street without you I literally even parked at Walmart and was waiting for him to call me to tell me that he had made it home before I even got home because there was no way I was going on the street <laughs> without someone else to go to that house with me and I know that sounds like a punk but that's just me <laughs> that's me when I got to the house my husband and I got over to the house and we ended up talking to the homeowner and they were completely fine about it they said that they were home when it happened and they already called their insurance and their insurance is actually take their home insurance is actually taking care of it so we gave them our information and we are paying their deductible and so that's just the gist of it but the next day we did get a um, knock on our door and it was our neighbor right next door to us and he had asked us he's like were you home when it happened and we were like no and so basically he was home he saw the whole thing and he said he was in his kitchen and all of a sudden like the wind and everything was picking up like crazy and he said it was like the worst he had ever seen it this is how bad it is down the street light poles actually went down so it wasn't like it was just kim did a bad job with this trampoline light poles were going down so it, I wasn't the only one putting stuff <laughs> and it wasn't working but anyways he was at home and he said he was in his kitchen and he saw our trampoline flying across our our backyard it hit his gutter and then once it hit his gutter it literally like went whoo, in the air and then went all the way over and smacked down onto the fence he said it went like in the air like in like it was whoo, <laughs> gone in the air and then boom down 
So he was just like, that was just crazy. I've never seen anything else like, like seen that in my life. Well, of course, we're the new neighbors who brought an airborne trampoline. I'm just so thankful, honestly, that it could have been worse. It could have hit a car. It could have done a lot more damage than what it did. Thank God it's only a fence and thank God they are nice neighbors. But I wanted to tell you guys just because that's so crazy. And the moral of the story, I feel like, is listen to your wife. If they do not think it's a good idea, then it's probably important to listen or listen to someone in your life who may be just a tad bit paranoid because they have a reason to be, okay? So, um, yeah, right now that is just the craziness that went on. And I just figured I'd tell you guys because even to, even now I was just like in shock. Like literally I'm walking, I can look outside right now. The trampoline is still on there. Um, on their fence and they told me well they told us that they want to leave it there because if they move the trampoline their fence is gonna go down and they have a dog and that's the only thing that's keeping their dog inside of their fence so on Tuesday um, the people who are coming to fix their fence are going to be taking down the trampoline and um, yeah that's just the craziness so moral of the story is don't get a trampoline and if you do just don't just down. I hope you guys enjoyed this story though. I figured I'd let you know just because it was so crazy and I'm still like in shock that it happened. And if you did enjoy this story, please make sure to subscribe and like it so that you guys can be notified when I make another story time. And if something like this has happened to you or if you also do not like trampolines, please let me know in the comments down below. And that's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next video. Bye.